Hey guys, yeah, back to wearing tank tops. It's hotter than crap in this trailer right now. All right, so I kind of cheated tonight. I handed my shift off to Andrew. It was only a three hour and 15 minute shift, but I've been four nights without getting enough sleep. And you can see it in my eyes. My eyes are so tired right now. But I'm just trying to refocus my mind and I want to do some more homesteading videos out of the backyard homestead book. Yay. Okay. <laughs> so we are on curing with brine. It's going to be another short little video. So, okay. And I, a word to YouTube. I see you guys did not put my subscriber back. It's not okay. I know the reason you guys do it. It's not okay. Homesteading is... There's nothing wrong with it. In my, in my beliefs, in my opinion, it's the best thing out there. Personally, I believe everyone should be doing it. Like back in the 1800s, 1700s to survive. Oh, wait, we're going to come into a time when that's going to have to happen again. So, yeah, I know what you guys are doing. You're trying to make it to where people don't know how to live. Guess what? Us homesteaders and YouTubers, homesteading YouTubers, we're not going to stop getting information out there for people. So suck it up, buttercup, and deal with it. All right, over. Curing with brine. Salting, an ancient method of preserving, was based on the discovery of that large amounts of salt will inhibit spoilage. However, using a great deal of salt means that the food is not fit to eat until it has been desalted and freshened by being soaked in several changes of water, resulting in the loss of many nutrients. Another reason why I'm not going to do that. When small amounts of salt are used, however, fermentation occurs. The bacteria changes the sugars of the vegetable to lactic acid, and the acid with the salt prevents other spoilage organisms from growing. This lactic acid fermentation is the method used in making sauerkraut and other sour vegetables. Since the salting is so mild, the consumption of both vegetables and juice can be enjoy, enjoyed and nearly all the nutrients are preserved. It's another reason why I want to go to fermenting instead of canning. The Chinese may have been the first to preserve, to preserve food by the fermentation process. The present day yense Yensi, meaning vegetables preserved in brine. That's Y-E-N-T-S-A-I. I think it's Yensi. Or Yensi. Is prepared with mixtures of various vegetables that have been available since ancient times. Turnips, radishes, cabbages, and other vegetables are used in these preparations, and salt is added if available. Some of the vegetables that can be fermented in the home with success are cabbages, Chinese cabbage, turnips, rutabagas, lettuce, green tomatoes. I don't, I would not do lettuce. That just sounds really gross. And snap beans. Cucumbers are also fermented when brined the long way for pickles. When properly prepared, all of these foods will be crisp but tender. They are pleasant, pleasantly at, they are pleasantly acid and salty in flavor but they are good in salads, except for sauerkraut, or served whole on the relish tray without freshening. They are also good cooked with meat. And that was curing with brine. So again, I'm going to make these just short little videos so I can just get them up there real quick. And I will be back in a minute and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.